Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, there is, of course, other products and services at Microsoft. So we talked about the specific uh, Windows security updates, but what is it about all the security updates of every um, Microsoft products and services? So uh, you have, of course, Windows, which we focus here, but there's also .NET Framework that we had an update today. The, the updates for .NET Framework are related to security flaws. Uh, there's, of course, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Edge, and so on. Um, in total, in the Microsoft world of security, uh, with all the different products uh, and all the different services, you get a total of 78 security vulnerabilities this month. Of these 78, 38 are remote code execution bugs, but only six are rated as critical. So there's not just Windows that is hit by critical flaws, but um, also uh, things like your Microsoft Office products and, of course, the uh, .NET framework that you might have had uh, the update at the same time. So all of that today has security fixes uh, that are, of course, um, entered into the, uh, in the equation here. Now, um, 17 of these are elevation of privilege vulnerabilities. Three are feature bypass. 32, remote code execution. Five, information disclosure. 10 are denial of service. 10, spoofing. And one is the edge chromium vulnerabilities. So uh, this is kind of interesting to see that we have all of that. Uh, there's some for the Microsoft Exchange servers in there, of course. Uh, there's all sorts of different services. .NET and Visual Studio has flaws, one of them critical, actually. So that's important to uh, check out. Uh, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Outlook, uh, and Microsoft Office have important flaws. One is SharePoint, which is critical flaw for Office. So that's another zero day. That's right there. Um, if we look at the other critical Windows Hyper-V denial of service vulnerability, there are three critical flaws in the Windows Pragmatic General Multicast. Uh, that's what is being fixed in Windows, basically for the remote code execution uh, critical flaws. So lots of stuff that is in there. There's even Windows TPM device driver that has an important security fix in here. So that's why you got to update all of your services. Everything needs to be updated. Um, and, and if you're using Microsoft Office, the Office updates are done kind of in the background. You don't really see the Microsoft Office updates. They're done in the background, and they happen uh, to do the updates regularly. If you use Office every day, you will have updates that have been done, and uh, that should be okay. There is, a, uh, uh, of course, a little check mark that says, well, you can also you know, make sure that all other services of uh, Microsoft are up to date in Windows so that they checks for the other services that you might have. So lots of stuff, 78. It's not the biggest month we've seen uh, last year and the year before. We've seen a few months that were above 100 security flaws. But uh, 78 is a big month, and it's a pretty big month, especially because of the uh, critical zero days already exploited. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.